welcome to today's challenge. Ladies, you will be competing first today. My fantasy has come alive. All the girls were dressed in Daisy Duke shorts. Look over your shoulder. See those cars over there? I see these like six cars, like all in a row. And then I started getting really nervous. I hope you studied your materials because you're going to be servicing one of those cars. You're going to have to complete this checklist in order to win, too. Pop the hood, check the oil, replace the air filter, close the hood, change the tire, and if you're the first woman to reach into the car and honk the horn, you win the opportunity to send one team to the elimination room. You girls ready? Yes. Take your positions. Ladies, on your mark. Get set. Go. As soon as Brian said go, I just turned around. I knew exactly where to go. It should be right in the middle. All right, get the stick up. Scarlett already has the early lead. You're doing good. Get it back in. We got to get the air filter in there. Under the hood. At the beginning, I couldn't get the hood undone. So I thought right there, I'm done. This is this is over. Last challenge winner, Mindy, is having a hard time getting the hood open, and it looks like Richard's not being much help. Ah! Ah! Well, just keep working at it then. And I was just standing by like a schmuck because I didn't know what else to do. <laughs> Lauren's already changing her air filter. Pull it out. Put the other one in, same way. No, I, no. I don't know where the, where the popper is. It took me about 25 minutes to figure out how to open the hood. And I know you're supposed to like pop it, duh. But I just wasn't like thinking. Once I finally do get the hood open and I do the oil thing, I'm just like, okay, air filter. I was kind of just sitting there, like, trying to figure out what could possibly be the air filter. It looks like Scarlett's losing her lead. She's tightening the bolts instead of loosening them. Yeah, remember the star pattern. We were doing really well until Scarlett got to the lug nuts on the tire. Uh, 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 I can't. She was just having a hell of a time with that. I can't get my fingers in it. I don't know what this one did you. Pulling ahead, she's already changing her tire. What's next, Brad? Tire. Are you serious? Yeah. You know, everything's going fine. Hood popped, oil checked, no problem. So I'm sitting there trying to take off the hubcap, but it wouldn't come off. I need to get the hubcap off. She tried to pry that off for probably about 10 minutes. I don't think that comes off. <laughs> this is a neck and neck race between Lauren, Kaitlyn, and Scarlett. You know what? They're all straight as I can do. All right, now, now lug nut. Lug wrench, lug wrench. I was so excited just sort of watching how you work and listening to the people around us. I could tell we were really starting to pull ahead because she just kept going and going. It looks like Lauren will win this. You got it, you got it. Keep okay. going. Keep Do going. it faster if you can. Come on, keep going, Scarlett. You got it? And I was like probably about to start honking the horn, and then I realized I couldn't find my last lug nut. Where is the other bolt? Right here, right here, right here. Do you have to put the lug wrench? Right here, right here. Yeah. No, no. Now, Hawk the Lynn going to the horn. She wins. Oh, my God. She won the challenge. You're the best, Kite. I'm so proud of Kite right now. You're the best. And she was just terrific. I broke a nail, and I got my pants dirty, and my shoes are dirty. My outfit's dirty. I'm dirty. But it was completely worth it. Oh, my God. Yeah, Kite Lynn. I did it. Give me some love here. Okay. Congratulations, teammate. Right there, you can relax now. One more challenge remaining. You can go home. Chuck and I are safe because we won the challenge. And the most important thing is you get to send one team to the elimination room. Yep. Take a deep breath. There you go. I'll see you guys later. Thank you. Back the Boy. There we go. Ooh, that feels good. Highlights, <laughs> short hair, and I was scared at first. Ah! <laughs> <laughs> Looks great. <laughs> Ladies, how are you? Nervous. <laughs> you spent the entire day completely making over your partners. I will say no more. Sean! Please show us your new look.
aside from all the oohs and ahs, it was real easy to see the shock on their faces. And they're all smiling like, oh my God, you look so good. How do you feel? Do you like I feel good. Good! <laughs> you look great, I gotta give you a hug. Shock, the ladies are dying to see what you look like. Come on out. When Chuck came through the curtain, he looked like a totally different person. I remember the first day he walked in, his hands were all fidgety and he kept pushing up his sleeves like this and he was looking down and he wouldn't even look at us. And today when he walked through that curtain, he just looked like he felt better. How do you feel? Uh, a bit like an imposter, but I'm getting used to it. <laughs> Two more guys to go. Bill, come on in. I love it. Oh my god. I love it. I'm usually not used to being called hot. With whole like makeover, clothes, hair, it's given me a lot more confidence. I feel like I could go out into the world and conquer it. Last but not least, ladies, gentlemen, Richard. <gasps> oh my god! Richard, you don't even look like the same guy. Look at those jeans. <laughs> I'm in these clothes, I feel sexy. This is a new feeling for me, to feel sexy like this. To have all the girls fawning over this, over the clothing. The, the women like what Richard is putting out. If I gotta wear jeans to be fawned over by beautiful women, I'll wear the jeans. I'm feeling pretty good going into this because whole new look, whole new wardrobe. So I'm feeling pretty confident going out there getting numbers and uh, I should have a pretty good shot at it.